Sean Kammer. He is the downtown manager for the Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority. Sean, it's good to have you with us. I know we were going to have you on a, a few weeks ago. You were a little bit under the weather. I hope you're feeling better and everything is going great in uh, downtown Royal Oak. How are you? Thank you, Ronnie. It's great to be here. Yes, I'm doing quite well. Uh, uh, just a, a flu shot that backfired. So I do appreciate you having me on uh, this morning. Oh, ouch, shots always hurt, but it pays off in the end. And, and Sean, I know um, one of the good things for Royal Oak, the movie theaters are now back open. That is such a big event for people in the city of Royal Oak to go to Imagine Theater. How is that going for the city? Uh, it's going fantastic. Uh, actually, uh, there was a recent headline that there was a uh, uh, film festival that was planned for Juneteenth. Uh, that wasn't able to happen because of COVID, and uh, I understand that Imagine it, uh, had gone forward with that now that they are able to reopen. I'm also excited to announce that uh, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, which is an independently owned, very famous anchor institution in downtown Royal Oak, will be reopening on November 5th. That is great to hear because we all need a lot of laughs right now. So what else is going on in the city of Royal Oak um, as we continue to navigate this crisis? Uh, well, we actually have a lot of things that we're doing. Uh, the Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority has been very proactive with a lot of the programs and initiatives that we have going on in order to get people back downtown safely. Of course, observing the, the public health guidelines, making sure people can come downtown, they can shop, they can dine, they can go out for a drink, but they can do so safely that, uh, you know, respects the public health guidelines, you know, and, uh, you know, keeps everybody healthy. Um, you know, one of the things that we have done to make it more uh, uh, convenient for people to come down here is we've made our parking system more competitive. Uh, the city has recently uh, readjusted are the rates for our parking structures. Uh, it used to be a flat $5 fee after 5 p.m. Uh, the city has since adjusted that. So now it's two hours free any time of day. Uh, and then after that, it's only 75 cents an hour. And of course, uh, it's free all Sunday. Uh, so, Sean, I will say I, I've had countless parking tickets there in the city of Royal Oak. Um, it hasn't been easier to pay those tickets, but uh, that's just joking aside. Um, and with that, can you give us an update on the parking situation over by the farmer's market? Because that is such a popular event for people to attend on Saturday mornings. Absolutely. That area in downtown has undergone significant changes. Uh, in fact, part of this parking uh, lot is now uh, where our new city hall sits. We have a new police station that's currently under construction. Um, I'm currently talking to you from that new city hall. Uh, one of the things that, that we do have that was an adjustment is that there is a brand new parking structure uh, within walking distance of the farmer's market. Um, and of course, it's two hours free. Uh, you don't get parking tickets in the parking structure. So uh, if you'd like, <laughs> if you uh, if that is something that people do want to avoid, uh, you know, I always encourage people to park in the structures where there's ample space. I'm happy to hear that you guys are getting a new police department because they definitely deserve it. That building was pretty old. Uh, yeah, it's a brand new facility. Uh, it's going to be connected to the to the courthouse as well. And then where the old uh, city hall and old police department are, it's going to be demolished. It's going to be turned into a, uh, a brand new uh, city park in the center of downtown. So a lot of changes going on in the heart of downtown Royal Oak. How has that been trying to navigate all of those changes in the middle of a pandemic? Have some of those plans been delayed because of the crisis that we're still in the midst of? Uh, well, there have been some slowdowns, uh, no doubt. Uh, you know, uh, there are some things that were a little bit behind schedule, but we're really glad to see that uh, things are nearing completion. Uh, you know, I'm glad you did mention that uh, in the middle of the pandemic, what the things that we are doing to bring uh, people down here and uh, one of the things that the Downtown Development Authority has done is it has per uh, partnered with a company called Yifty uh, to provide e-gift cards to people via email and this has uh, money on it that they can come down and they can spend at upwards of 70 uh, uh, retailers and uh, restaurants in downtown and it's been wildly successful we started this off in the summer where we gave out free twenty dollar gift cards for people we're going to be continuing this program through the holidays with a holiday shopping uh, uh, promotion in which people can go to visit downtown 
uh, I mean, visit royaloak.com, forgive me, visit royaloak.com and they can, if they purchase one of these e-gift cards, the DDA will actually match their purchase. So they'll get double the amount of money that they can spend in downtown. And Chad, speaking about uh, winter and the holiday months, uh, Royal Oak is a walkable community and it's been great to be able to get outside. We've had an amazing summer and incredible fall but going into the winter months may not be as nice and friendly. So for some of those restaurants, uh, do you anticipate it's the slow, it, there's going to be a slowdown in the future? And um, are they going to be able to survive that slowdown if it does, in fact, happen? Um, you know, that's a great point. Uh, so as long as I've been here, the winter months are significantly leaner than the summer months. As you mentioned, it's, uh, downtown Royal Oak is a tremendously great walkable downtown. Uh, it's difficult to continue to walk down here in the middle of January. Uh, so business does tend to slow down uh, in January and February specifically. This being a very unique year uh, with everything uh, you know, there is a concern that this this coming January and February will be very difficult for a lot of the businesses and a lot of the initiatives that we've launched to try to retain our businesses in downtown. You know, we want to make sure that we can continue that through uh, the leaner winter months, um, you know, which is specifically why we started this this holiday gift card uh, match program is that, you know, you can give these cards as gifts to people that has money on it. They can be spent at upwards of 70 locations in downtown. We're hoping that people use them and then that will carry them through uh, January and February and that will at least uh, have a little bit more business. We're having a little bit of problem with your signal here. It kind of goes in and out for your phone, but uh, but you're back. Uh, and, and so with that, uh, tell us a little bit about how we can actually get those gift cards. Because the one thing I like about Royal Oak is you have so many unique shops. It's not what you're going to find in the mall. So if I'm interested in getting one of those gift cards, how can we do so? Um, if you go to, uh, starting November 1st, if you go to visitroyaloak.com, uh, you know, follow the link uh, to, uh, to purchase the gift cards. Uh, that will take you to uh, our section of the Yifty website. Uh, you can purchase uh, the gift cards in increments of $25, $50, or $100. Uh, when you do that, uh, uh, you will automatically get a bonus card uh, that matches those dollars so you get uh, twice the amount of money that you pay for on these cards you can send them either to yourself or you can send them to a family member or a friend uh, so long as you provide the email address where you'd like it to be sent so it's like buy one for someone else and get something for yourself i like the way that works Yeah, it's, it, we're really excited to, to see this launch. So it's, uh, you know, we, we think it's going to be, uh, you know, a really successful program. We think it's going to be really popular. So far, people have been coming down and spending these gift cards in droves. Uh, it, it's been a, a, a wonderful program so far, especially during this time. Sean Cameron with us. He is the downtown manager for the Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority joining us on the Oakland County Megacast today throughout the local area on a variety of TV and radio outlets as well as on the Facebook page of Oakland University also today. Um, Sean, the city has also engaged in uh, further partnerships with rideshare services as, as the communities, uh, of course, is, is so walkable. And there's a lot of different businesses and a lot of different places to go. People want to come into the city but maybe don't want to battle with the parking situation, even with the uh, parking structures that are, are going up and have been going up there. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about those partnerships with those rideshare services? Absolutely. So over the summer, the uh, Downtown Development Authority entered into two partnerships, one with Lyft and one with Uber. Um, and basically the DDA is subsidizing ride-sharing services into and out of downtown Royal Oaks. So uh, especially on the weekends. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you'd like to take a lift, uh, you have until the end of October uh, to, to take a lift into downtown Royal Oak. Uh, it also provides you a ride home. Uh, the DDA will cover up to $10 of that ride. Uh, you just have to apply the code uh, GO2RO, and that's G-O, the number two, and then the letters R-O. Uh, and with that, Sean, I'm wondering, how are you getting the funding to help offset the cost for that as well as these gift cards? 
So the funding is actually provided by the Downtown Development Authority. So uh, they've, they've funded a majority of these initiatives. And is that member-based, or were you guys able to get some grants from the federal government under the CARES Act to help support some of these programs to get people back into the city and, and support these um, small businesses? Uh, we have had some dollars provided by Oakland County Main Street, which provided money for our annual technical assistance needs. So uh, in terms of the infrastructure to keep these programs going, uh, you know, we're really thankful to uh, Main Street Oakland County for providing us with those resources to do that. But otherwise, uh, the, the Downtown Development Authority is actually a public uh, entity uh, charged with economic development activities in Downtown Royal Oak. Well, we're happy to see that some of the businesses are able to survive. It's going to be a rough winter for some of them. And looking at some of the businesses as well, are you seeing any new businesses coming during this crisis? Or if so, were there some plan that have been put, in, uh, put on hold? And have there been some that have had to close as well? Uh, well, I'll answer the last part of your question first. Uh, yes, some businesses have closed during COVID uh, for a number of reasons. Um, you know, uh, I, I will say that we were relieved to see that there were fewer businesses closed than we had anticipated. Um, you know, some had just closed their doors and they just didn't, they weren't undercapitalized and they just didn't have the ability to, to open again, um, you know, especially with the losses that they were incurring. Um, you know, one of the things that the DDA tried to do uh, in order to help these businesses bridge the gap, and I'm told that it's, it's, it's really helped with our business retention, is that in uh, May through June, actually all, May through July, I should say, uh, the Downtown Development Authority launched a local grant program for uh, downtown businesses. Uh, we had 92 applicants and the DDA funded all 92 applicants who qualified. Um, grants went out uh, in the range of $4,000 to the smallest, newest business on the low end to $32,000 for the larger businesses that have more employ um, employees, larger footprints in square footage, so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, we, we gave these businesses uh, this grant in installments to help them through uh, the expenses that they were dealing with during the shutdown. That's great to hear. And, uh, you know, when you're talking with some of the businesses and the business owners, how are they doing with even keeping their doors open employee-wise? Because it seems like when you drive down the street, you see so many help-wanted signs, especially for retail stores um, and restaurants and bars. Are the restaurants and the businesses in the Royal Oak area experiencing that problem as well of trying to get enough employees and reliable employees at that uh you know this is a really unusual time in our economy it's, i think it's strange that we're simultaneously seeing high unemployment and a labor shortage simultaneously but that's kind of what we're experiencing in some sectors uh you know especially restaurants they're having a very difficult time finding uh you know, uh, employees uh, to, to, to meet their staffing needs at this point in time. You know, I know that that's, that's uh, a considerable issue for some of them. Um, yeah, so, so yes, it, 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 is, a, it is a concern. Uh, you know, uh, I think because of the pandemic, you know, it's, it's created a lot of disconnects in the economy and, and we're seeing the fallout from that. Sean Camber with us on the Oakland County Megacast. He is uh, from the Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority. He is the downtown manager for that organization. Joining us today on the Oakland County Megacast. Sean, just another few minutes with you today. Is there anything coming down the pike that would be interesting for those in Royal Oak or, or those that plan to visit Royal Oak soon to know about or any other information that would be important for our audience to know that we haven't touched on yet today? Uh, yeah, uh, so... As we're moving into November here, uh, that's that's actually a big time of year for us. Uh, it's holiday shopping, but it's it's also Small Business Saturday, and that's that is a very sacred day in downtown Royal Oak. Um, so I encourage everybody to uh, follow Downtown Royal Oak on our Instagram page. We're going to have some great contests where we're going to give away some free gift cards for people who follow our Instagram and you know enter some of our uh, social media contests. If uh, we can be found uh, at downtown underscore Royal Oak is our uh, Instagram handle. 
Um, so I encourage people to go uh, on Instagram, follow our page, and then be on the lookout for some future announcements for some ways to win some gift cards for Small Business Saturday. We all like gift cards. And, and Sean, uh, speaking about the holidays, uh, of course, Macy's just announced it's not going to have the big parade coming up, the holiday parade. Um, Royal Oak is all about community, and so many of the community events are surrounded the holidays. What are the plans for some of those traditional holiday ce celebrations in the city of Royal Oak? Have they all been put on hold right now? Um, we're kind of in a twilight right now in terms of the fate of our uh, holiday event that's, that's usually occurs at, uh, near the beginning of December. Uh, our DDA will be meeting next week to talk about their options as far as that goes. Um, uh, right now, the annual Halloween event, uh, the, the trick-or-treating event for kids that happens the Sunday before every Halloween, it's called Spooktacular. Uh, it has unfortunately been canceled because of the public health crisis. Uh, but as for the, uh, the, the annual holiday events, the, the Royal Oak Holiday Jingle is what it's called. Uh, the DDA will be meeting to discuss its fate next week. Yeah, and I will say, I, you know, um, I have used to do a 5K one a month uh, for a year, and there, everything's virtual right now. It's just not the same. Like, I may enter, and I get the medal, but then I never <laughs> end up running the actual race, but I have the medal. Um, it's all about the medal, but it, I feel like I'm cheating in that regard. So the Jingle is such a, a fun one and a popular one there in the city of Royal Oak. And just quickly before we let you go, we're seeing the numbers of COVID cases rise in the state of Michigan and um, the metro Detroit area. Is there concern for someone such as yourself in the position that you are if we have to go back down into phase three and shut down some of these businesses again will we be able to survive that's a fantastic question i i wish i had experience of going through a third wave shutdown to offer some insight on that but this is very uncharted territory for a lot of us um you know i think the some of the challenges that a future shutdown may pose is that you know, uh, public entities may not be so uh, resource rich to do those rounds of grants and support programs that, uh, you know, we were fortunately able to be in a position to do uh, the first time around. So that's definitely a concern. Um, I think we need to start looking at uh, strategies uh, that will allow us to operate safely and respect the public health guidelines. Um, be wise about how we spend our dollars uh, so that uh, businesses can get the kinds of equipment that they need uh, in order to operate safely. Uh, so we need to start thinking, uh, I think, very long term and, and have sustainability in mind. It's such a tough spot to be in right now, not just um, for so many of us trying to manage our family budgets, but also these businesses trying to survive. You made it through the first round, but can you make it through a second and even possibly a third. Sean came here with us here on the Oakland County Megacast. He is the manager for the Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority. Thank you for all of your work that you're doing to try to keep the businesses afloat during these tough economic times and also keeping the fun flowing in the city of Royal Oak as much as it can be during the COVID-19 crisis. We appreciate your time today on the Oakland County Megacast. Thank you, Ronnie. It was a pleasure.